Hi guys, this is Fo from here. I'm just going to show you how an electric engine works, the basics behind them, and what you can and can't do with them. So the absolute basic that you need is the electric engine, a battery charger, a battery, and a generator. On top of that, you're going to need a regular fuel-based engine to actually charge the uh, generators, or power the generators so they can charge the engines. So the basic of what you need to do with these engines is you place an electric engine and it doesn't matter what order that you place the battery chargers or the batteries together. The one thing you can't do though is place a battery charger on top of another battery charger. So you just have to place one there and see it doesn't connect. Uh, what you do is you get another battery and you can place it all around it and then you can place another uh, battery charger but you cannot place them on, below, next to, anything with each other. They have to be separated by batteries or connected to a battery to be connected to the electric engine at all. Otherwise, it uh, doesn't even function, doesn't work. So, let's see here. Let's go on to this design over here. This is the uh, more compact design. See, it's got a lot of battery chargers, and in between them you have uh, the actual batteries. This design works because it has battery spacing or space between the uh, battery chargers. That way this engine will actually charge fairly fast once you turn on one of the generators. So we'll go over here and look at this. We see this one is charging quite fast. This design over here features a lot of battery a lot of batteries but a few chargers so you can see it's charging a lot slower than this design. Uh, each one of these um, generators that you start that will draw from the engine, the fuel sourced engine right here, and that will uh, power them. Now, battery design is very important because you can see these two here. This one has a lot of batteries, this one has a lot of chargers. The difference between the two is this is high capacity but low refill. This one is low capacity but high refill. It depends on what type of, uh, I guess, ship you're going to be powering, one that requires short term shield use or something that's just going to draw on energy for a short amount of time, say if you have thrusters. But this one is for, say, longer drawn out, uh, maybe combat experiences. You have shields that you have to keep going for a certain amount of time. This would be more ideal, but again, see how much longer it's taking a charge than this one over here. This one's already at 30,000. Or am I reading? Yeah, 30,000. This one's only at 5,000. So, that's the basics to engine design for uh, well electric engines. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll get back to you guys soon.